Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. Hi guys, hi girls. My name is Mo Moon and this is my YouTube channel, Mo Moon Tarot. Uh, welcome to all of you. I am so happy to have you here with me. Um, today I'm gonna to be using my Before Tarot deck and I am going to be sharing what the energies of the upcoming week will be bring in for us. So we're going to be going from Monday, November 23rd to Sunday, November 29th, 2020. As I said, I'm using my before tarot deck and we're going to bring uh, in the fortunes, uh, the knowledge of the fortune for the week coming up for us. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to shuffle my tarot deck a little bit. Um, I really want to take out my crystal ball, but I'm not sure if that's something that I should do or not. You know, we should just go for it. Hey, I got a card. Let's see what the card says. The card says the fool. So I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to take out my crystal ball. I have it right here with me just in case. We have the fool card that just popped out, which it kind of, to me, um, when I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to go for it with the crystal ball, the fool to me is a yes card. It's like, yes, all the way, go for it. Don't think about the consequences as much as thinking about the good benefits that will come from the situation. So let's go ahead and take out the crystal ball and see what it might say for us as far as what the fortune is for the upcoming week and how we can work with the energies of the tarot. Oh, so spirit, thank you for this opportunity. Please bless us with the insight from whatever source that we need to have that insight. We accept all sources of insight because insight is what gives us our ability to function properly in the world. Allow us to see the truths about ourselves and the truths about those around us and also to be loving and kind. Allow us to see what it is we need to see today through the crystal ball and through the tarot. And so it is. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very touchy feely. Okay. Um, my hands are being drawn to the crystal ball. It's almost like this week uh, coming is going to be very hands on for us. Um, we're going to have to work with gentleness with ourselves, but also we have to enjoy the things that we can feel, see, hear, taste, smell. We have to enjoy our senses this week, okay? It's very important for us to take into consideration that if we have these abilities, we are blessed. We are blessed. We are doubly blessed. Um, if you have the ability, the five senses, sight, touch, hear, taste, and smell, and also the ability to think, then you are extremely blessed. And I think it's important for us going into this week with this crystal ball message for us to take into account the fact that we are blessed if we have those things. And that even though some people don't have those things, it doesn't mean they're cursed. It means that they have different ways of being able to experience these blessings. So that's good. So Monday, November 23rd, 2020, what is the energy that we are expecting? Energy surrounding us from Monday, November 23rd, 2020, Spirit. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here with me. Let's get the energy from Monday, November 23rd, please, Spirit. Give us patience. Give us guidance. Give us patience with ourselves as well. It's very important to be patient with ourselves, to wait for the good things, because the good things are worth waiting for. So they have the King of Swords for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. So we're getting big responsibility energy on Monday. Again, I always feel like Monday is a day where the responsibility is placed back on our backs 
um, and we have to go through another week of work. And when I say go through another week of work, it sounds uh, ungrateful because a lot of people don't have work. A lot of people's businesses are closing um, because they don't have the uh, traffic going through there anymore with everything being on lockdown. So with the King of Swords, it's really about being the boss of your own mind, um, really um, taking into consideration what your thoughts are about yourself and what your thoughts are about the things around you. It's about taking the reins of your mind and not, allow, not allowing yourself to go into panic mode on Monday. Um, if you do have a lot of good things in your life, if you still have your job, if you still have, like I said, those senses, um, then you are very blessed. And I think that Monday with the King of Swords is noticing our position of uh, power over our lives with the King of Swords, noticing that we are being handed, just like this card where um, the sword is being handed to the King from the divine. We are being handed a divine opportunity at life again, Monday, November 23rd. If we have jobs to uh, accomplish, if we have a job to go to, if we have a source of income, we are divinely blessed and it's about giving thanks, okay, on Monday. Um, be grateful on Monday. It's quite, of course, it's important to be grateful every day, but especially on Monday, find something to be grateful for, find something to be thankful for, find th something to thank the divine for, um, thank your body, thank your mind if you are able to um, think clearly, if you are able to uh, create logical thought that is a divine gift. And I think that on Monday, the energy is, is that of wanting to be grateful. I feel like on Monday, we're going to be feeling a big sense of uh, awareness of everything that we've been blessed with and that we will be able to see the glass half full as opposed to half empty. I really do feel like that's the energy for Monday, November 23rd, 2020 with the King of Swords. So that was Monday, November 23rd. That's the energy of gratefulness for Monday. Let's go into Tuesday, November 24th. Please, Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Tuesday, November 24th, 2020? Please, Spirit. How can we learn from the energies? How can we maneuver the energies? How can we work through the energies? How can we guide ourselves through the energies on Tuesday, November 24th? 2020 spirit please tuesday november 24th oh we have the nine of swords on tuesday hmm. i feel like the nine of swords is telling us that um if you have a difficult time on Tuesday, November 24th, if there's something that you're struggling through, I think it's important to remember that this is what I'm getting from spirit, that if you are going through something that is difficult on Tuesday, I get the impression that you can think back to a time where you were in a similar situation and where you can maneuver yourself a little bit more, um, uh, gently and, um, intelligently through the situation because we have the nine of swords which is a card of uh sleeplessness restlessness um you know overthinking but not overthinking to the point where it's not necessary there is there is also a sense of energy with this card where it's important to go through this situation of overthinking because it will help you to become a more learned individual. It will help you to become a more knowledgeable, a more enlightened individual. So the energy of Tuesday, November 24th is that of enlightenment, but it's our responsibility to work through that energy of enlightenment by thinking back to different situations where we were overthinking but not in a bad way but in a way that was necessary and um really to rest in the belief that you've been through this before you've been through similar situations before if there's a little bit of negativity that you're going through um know that you've already been through this with the nine of swords i really feel like it's something that you already know how to guide yourself through on november uh 24th which is a tuesday 2020 so that's November 24th, which is Tuesday. So let's get November 25th, which is the Wednesday. 
Spirit, thank you for showing us November 23rd and November 24th. Please show us the energy for November 25th, which is a Wednesday. 2020, Spirit. Thank you for guiding us through the energies, Spirit. Thank you for showing us insight. We are blessed to be able to have insight. Help us to remember the things that are important for us to remember as we go through the days next week. Or as we are going through the days now, if you're if you're watching this a little bit into next week. Okay. So, November 25th. Wednesday. We have the Eight of Cups. It's a card of um, satisfaction. So... Um, I know that, you know, it's also a card of wanting to move on to something new, wanting to explore and find out what the world has to offer, what adventure is awaiting. But it's also a card of satisfaction because this individual is about to leave behind all the cups that he has tasted from. Um, he has uh, tasted, he has seen, he is grateful, but he's also wanting a new experience. And so... For Wednesday, November 25th, um, there is that, it's a good energy. I really do feel like Wednesday, November 25th is a good energy of satisfaction, of determination, of abundance, but of wanting something to uh, fulfill you in a different way. So that there's a, a sense of um, curiousness on Wednesday, November 25th. There is a curiosity that's growing within you as to uh, how you can approach life in a different way and how you can see things in a different way. And again, I come back to the five senses, sight, touch, taste, smell, and uh, hearing. The five senses, those physical senses that we have. Um, as an individual human being, you have the ability to use your senses if you are gifted with those senses to um to satisfy yourself to bring in those experiences that you need to bring in that will bring in the satisfaction that you are looking for so on wednesday november 25th i do see there's a lot of energy for satisfying yourself for heading in a new direction for starting something new um or for um just being grateful again, I do feel like there is a, like with the crystal ball message, there's a strong sense of gratitude for this week. Um, it's a good feeling. So that's the eight of cups for Wednesday, November 25th. Thank you spirit for that message. So Thursday, November 26th, please spirit. Thank you again for showing us uh, the 23rd, the 24th and the 25th. Show us the 26th, which is Thursday, please, Spirit. The energy surrounding Thursday, November 26th. Yeah, Thursday, November 26th, please, Spirit. How can we maneuver through the energies of Thursday, November 26th? How can we best be grateful as that is the message that is coming out for this coming week? This coming week, November 23rd to November 29th, 2020. So Thursday, November 26th. Thursday, November 26th. We have the Queen of Cups. And I love the energy of the Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups for Thursday, November 26th. The Queen of Cups, Thursday, November 26th. There is a restfulness coming in Thursday, November 26th. There is a sense of peace and tranquility. Um, as you see, there's a dolphin bringing the cup up to the queen. And that is the cup that is like the master key of all keys cups. So um, I do feel like the energy for November 26th, which is the Thursday, 2020, is one of fulfillment. There is a strong sense of being fulfilled, um, a strong sense of uh, closure. I think that Thursday, November 26th, there's that sense of closure. If there's something that you had left the um, left undone, I do believe that there is a strong sense of closure on November 26th, which is Thursday, 2020. Um, there's a strong sense of satisfaction. There's uh, also the sense of just like 
all knowingness. Um, it's a very divine day, Thursday, November 26th. There's a lot of divinity with the Queen of Cups. It's almost like an intuition above all intuitions. Um, if you want to utilize this energy for yourself, it's a good day to create. It's a good day to walk in nature. It's a good day to be grateful for your job if you are going to a job or if you're doing your job at home. It's a good day to be grateful for your health. Um, there is a strong sense of closure. So when I say closure, perhaps there's some someone that you can talk to on Thursday or there is um, that you that you can bring yourself to let go of. Maybe there is a situation that you need to let go of on Thursday. That ability is heightened. You can let go of certain things that maybe aren't serving you of people that aren't reciprocating your love. Um, especially on Thursday, you may pick that back up on Friday. I don't know what the energy for Friday is yet, but with this card on Thursday, it's not, it's a sense of closure for the day. It's a sense of satisfaction for the day, but it doesn't mean that you're going to stop thinking about that, uh, idea that you wanted closure for. So even though there's a strong sense of spiritual satisfaction on Thursday, November 26th, it doesn't mean that for, for in the future in your life you will still think about that situation like if there was a breakup and you feel like you're letting go in a very strong way on Thursday it doesn't mean that on Friday you won't think about the situation that you went through with that breakup it just means that on Thursday there is a good energy for feeling self-assured for feeling um self-fulfilled for really just feeling glad of your life and glad that you are alive um if there's any difficulties for you on this day i think there's a, a heightened awareness as to why you're going through these difficulties um you might be going through difficulties but you might know exactly why you are having to go through them so there's actually a, a strong sense of um, being able to think clearly and logically and realistically on thursday november 26th Thank you, Spirit. So that was Thursday, November 26th. So let's get Friday, November 27th, please, Spirit. What is the energy surrounding the cosmos, the universe? What is the main energy that you can show us for Friday, November 27th, please, Spirit? Friday, November 27th. Friday, November 27th. Friday, November 27th, please, Spirit. The energy following the Queen of Cups on Thursday. Hmm. Friday, November 27th. We have the Nine of Pentacles on Friday, November 27th. An energy of discipline, but an energy of completion in one's work but also an energy of continuation so even though friday november 27th um brings in a lot of uh physical satisfaction noticing the differences that have uh, occurred within yourself noticing the uh, plans that you have made that have succeeded um, taking into account the things that you have been able to accomplish. November 27, Friday, there is a, a strong sense of independence. Again, if you're going through a difficult situation on Friday, November 27th, I do believe that, uh, again, there is a knowledge as to how to get through it and also as to why it's happening. So Friday, November 27th, with the... the um, nine of pentacles um there is like almost that sense of completion um but the nine of pentacles is a hard worker it's an individual who is very disciplined who does follow the book when it comes to doing things um there is an energy on friday november 27 of being self-assured, of being uh, content with oneself, um, of having 
a good sense of self on Friday, November 27th. The energy for this coming week, November 23rd to November 29th, does seem very empowering. And I do believe that that's probably why the crystal ball was telling us to be grateful because there is a strong sense of empowerment. I feel a lot of energy from the sun. Um, of course, it's the sunny day in the nine of pentacles. Um, but with the queen of cups uh, on Thursday, there's also that sense of tranquility. And then on Friday, November 27th, there's a sense of tranquility as well. Um, it doesn't mean there won't be difficult situations that you go through. It just means that you will be more at ease with the difficulties and not so strung up as I believe last week kind of had that energy of being strung up, strung up. Um, uh, up until November 22nd. Now with this new week, November 23rd to November 29th, um, I do believe it's it's a very uh, releasing week. It's a very satisfying week. And with the Nine of Pentacles on Friday, November 27th, there is a belief in oneself that says, yes, I worked hard for this. Yes, I deserve this. Yes, I am a hard worker. I am a dedicated person. I am guided by my divine uh, spirit of love and I am very much where I need to be for Friday, November 27 with the Nine of Pentacles 2020. So let's um, go on to Saturday, November 28th and see what the energies surrounding Saturday, November 28th have in store for us. Spirit, please. Thank you for showing us Friday, November 27th, 2020, the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Please, Spirit, show us Saturday, November 28th, 2020, to give us insight into how to maneuver ourselves through the energies to better ourselves, to work better with the energies surrounding us and not to have to fight so diligently at going against the flow, but, so, but more so going with the energies. So Saturday, November 28th, please, Spirit. Saturday, November 28th, please, the energy with one card, please, Spirit, show us exactly what we need to know for Saturday, November 28th. Oh, <laughs> too many cards. I got three cards. I need one card, please, Spirit. Saturday, November 28th, please, Spirit. Oh, we have the double for Saturday, November 28th. Wow, this could go two ways. If you are a believer that the devil is one to put you in bondage, I do believe that Saturday, November 28th will feel a little bit like a difficult day where you feel like you're stuck, where you feel like you can't get away from uh, the difficulties of whatever you're going through. If you believe more so in the idea of the devil being enlightenment, because we do have the devil card here, there is a strong sense of self on Saturday, November 28th, where even though there's difficulties that can arise, there is still a sense of individuality. There's a sense of standing up for your individuality. There's a sense of being enlightened to a point of being able to be yourself with other people. If there's a group that you're coming in contact with, you're very self-assured, you're very self-confident. Um, with the devil card, there's also a sense of uh, characteristics of yourself being, being portrayed to others in a very flamboyant way. Um, um, when I say flamboyant, it's just inter interesting because fla flame is, is part of the word flamboyant. So it's almost like you can be yourself. You can be your hot, fiery self on Saturday, November 28th. Um, and it's interesting because we have the devil who's also associated with hell, right? Which is hot and fiery. But there is that idea of wanting to um, manipulate um, yourself, but not needing to manipulate yourself. It depends how you see this energy. You could see this energy as oppressive. You could see this energy as difficult to maneuver through and difficult to even take a move ahead. Or you could see this energy as I'm going to work with my individuality. I'm going to work with 
my individual life, with the individual circumstances that I'm going through, and I am going to be a better person for it. So Saturday, November 28th with the Devil card, it's very much your choice as to how you want to see your life. If you want to see yourself as the creator of your life and the ruler of your life, the god of your situation or the goddess of your situation, or if you want to see yourself as a slave to life, as a slave to your circumstances. It's very much, it could go either way. It depends on you for Saturday. The The balance is there. It's how you want to tip it. So that's Saturday, November 28th. And then we go to Sunday, November 29th. Neptune goes direct again in Pisces on Sunday, November 29th. So Neptune goes direct again in Pisces, okay? Because I believe Neptune is in a sign for 14 years. So it was retrograde in Pisces and now on November 29th, 2020, which is a Sunday, Neptune is gonna go forward in Pisces. Instead of backwards, it's going forward again. So it's, it started to retrograde, it started to go backwards. Neptune started to go backwards in Pisces on the 23rd of, Ju the 23rd of June, um, 2020. But the planet in retrograde warns us about the risks of uncontrolled imagination. Now that it will be, now that it will be going forward, it's going to be easier for all of us to distinguish between dreams and reality. Um, so the, the difference between the ethereal, the, that is that which is in the spiritual realm and that which is in the realistic realm. Invisible worlds, Neptune represents sensitivity, spirituality, um, rose-colored glasses, extra, extra sensory observations, magic and ritual, daydreaming, fantasy, theater, fairy tales, ghost stories, and the like. So it's going to be easier for us um, on, on Sunday, November 29th to uh distinguish between dreams and reality so what is the energy for sunday november 29th with neptune going direct in pisces please spirit no, sunday november 29 we got two cards i need one card please spirit one card for sunday november 29th please spirit as far as the energies thank you for showing us saturday november 28th with the devil Please show us Sunday, November 29, 2020. Energies, please, Spirit. Sunday, November 29, with Neptune going direct in Pisces. But showing us the difference between reality and fantasy. There we go. We have the Ace of Wands for Sunday, November 29. The Ace of Wands for Sunday, November 29, with Neptune going direct, going forward in Pisces, is showing us that the world is our oyster. Meaning, you are the creator of your universe. And what you believe is fantasy and what you believe in real is reality is your choice. This individual um, is being handed a wand, a fiery, magical spiritual wand and that individual who's receiving the wand represents you represents you receiving from the divine the ability to create your own life there's a strong sense of rebirth on sunday november 29 with uh 2020 with neptune going direct in pisces there's a strong sense of rebirth there's a strong sense of individuality there's a strong sense of spirituality at sunday i always believe that sunday is a spiritual day and I do believe that the energy on Sunday, November 29th is going to be very spiritual for us. It's going to be a good time to uh, create, whether, whether that be making music, uh, writing. It could even be a good time to start reading a book or picking up a book that you have been reading or uh, continuing on with a book that you're reading. If you're not into book reading, um, there is a, lot, a strong sense of creation. So if you feel like you want to delve into the divine on Sunday through creation, through exploration, through insight into uh, spiritual things or for insight into the the, the earth, the, the goddess Gaia. There's a strong sense of being connected to earth. Of course, the wand symbolizes like a tree and the tree has a lot of history. It, it can be a strong tree with a lot of history and a lot of years on it. And, and it could be a, a, it could be like the sense that 
If a tree could talk, if a strong oak tree could talk, what would the oak tree tell us about about humanity? What would the oak tree tell us about how it has seen life and how life has changed over the years? And so I do believe that on Sunday there will be a sense of mystery revealed. There will be something that you will feel enlightened by and coming out of the devil on Saturday, November 28th. I think that Sunday, November 29th with the Ace, uh, Ace of Wands brings about the energy of being released from Saturday. Saturday is uh, a day where you will be choosing your direction and on Sunday your direction is going to come to you. So um, even if you made the wrong choice on Saturday and felt trapped and stuck on Sunday, everyone gets a rebirth. Everyone gets a, a new start, a, a fresh slate um, to discover themselves, to be themselves and to delve into what Neptune represents, which is spirituality, extrasensory observations, magical rituals, daydreaming, fantasy theater, fairy tales, ghost stories, and also how we see things through rose-colored glasses. Neptune direct in Pisces on uh, su Sunday, November 29, 2020. So let's, let's not forget that we need to be grateful for our senses if we have them. And if we don't have all of them, to be grateful for those that we have. Touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Um, and also the spirituality of being. I think that's also an important one, especially with the Ace of Wands on Sunday. There's spirituality coming out here. So I hope you enjoyed this week ahead fortune telling for Sunday, uh, for Monday, November 23rd, 2020 to Sunday, November 29th, 2020. My name is Mo Moon and I'm so happy that you were able to join me today. Please remember to like this video if you did. Comment down below if you feel like there's something you want to let me know or if there's something that you want the uh, public to see. Um, subscribe to my channel. It's a new channel and I really do want this channel to grow. And uh, hit the notification bell, please, if you want to be alerted as to when I upload new videos. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for being here. Again, my name is Mo. Bye, guys. Girls. <laughs>